What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the House of the Dragon. Looking at this thing on the four hour, you know, my video earlier, I was saying that this looks pretty bullish. It's not like, oh my God, this is the most bullish thing ever, but it's it's somewhat bullish, I have to say, for like a bottom. Um, that can change very quickly. That definitely can change quickly. If we get a lower low that isn't a wick, you know, if we get another wick like this, it goes a little bit lower. Okay, that still might be bullish. But if we get something that closes really below this day here, if we get something that closes below that, um, that's when things would look bad. And here we are at 212. That's 204. That's not even $10 away. Um, you know, inverse to that what would it take for things to look good i would say that it would be you know something like this up here we really we really could move up you guys we're at 212 now we could move up 15 dollars more and we're still not out of the uh you know danger zone for bitcoin cash 15 dollars more actually would put us right around here which is a previous area of resistance you know multiple times so um having that kind of move up just working our way down could be something that we're seeing now but i will say this you know on the four hour Things are definitely looking a little bit bullish. This RSI uh, bouncing right off the oversold zone like this. I just, I really like this look. We got the continuation, sorry, we got the continuation afterwards that we needed, but we, we haven't really seen the follow through after that. So I, I would like to see more follow through right now. We're just finding resistance at the same area that we've been finding resistance. Um, but the RSI does look good, not gonna lie. Contrary to that, the daily RSI doesn't look so good. Could we though still, like I was saying just a second ago, maybe move up from here and then move down lower. Maybe, you know, if let's say that this is overall a down move, right? Maybe it doesn't just move in a straight line down, but instead it has, you know, like normal retracements on its way down, something like that. Um, that would make sense to me. And, you know, I know I was a little bit bullish earlier, you know, and I, th I think it's right to be bullish in the immediate term, but overall this bear trend still might not be figured out just yet, you guys. Um, from low to high here, we are in that 382 area that we've been disrespecting um, a few times, and is this is this the right 382? Maybe it's not this one. Actually, I'm sorry. I mean, we didn't really respect that one either, but from top to bottom here, there we go. Um, this one, you know, it'd be very common to come back up to your like 0.5, your previous area that you found resistance on before even, um, and a little bit of support here kind of an area of resistance overall if you came back up here and then went lower maybe to this 236 where we still disrespected it a little bit but you can see <clears throat> this kind of held better as resistance I would say than the 382 did so um, maybe somewhere down here would make sense and then overall again this bottom to top golden ratio is right there right at the 236 so you know that that could happen and then also that would kind of suffice or that would that would fill this uh, request of the RSI to go down into the oversold zone. I don't know if it's a request or like a uh, a probability. Maybe is a better word for this, right? I think it's going to go down into this oversold zone. But maybe it, maybe we take a little break. Maybe we go up a little bit and then come down, um, find resistance around this 50 area, and then go lower. That that sounds about right to me. So um, that's my update, man. You know, I, I want to kind of. I, I know I've been all over the place with Bitcoin Cash lately, you guys. I've been like bullish one day, bearish the next day, <clears throat> and uh, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> oh man, that's crazy. Um, I don't even smoke, man. I haven't smoked in like months. Um, but anyways, I don't know what's up with that. I drank. I mean, I got a whole half gallon of water here that I've drank. It's you know, it's like. Anyways, 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 I know I've been bullish. I know I've been bearish, but right now, maybe a little bit of both is exactly what's called for. You know, we're, if if we're to believe that this thing goes lower, which I think, you know, from a daily perspective, it would I wouldn't be surprised if it went lower from a four hour perspective. Things are looking a little bit more bullish from a weekly perspective. It would also make sense if we went a little bit lower um, and just kind of more regular with what Bitcoin Cash normally does. You know, I guess we are kind of at an area that it bombs, but it more more oftentimes we do see movements go below the 0.5, not above it. So um, anyways, anyways, uh, maybe a little bit of upside right now. Find resistance, let's see, somewhere around the 225 to 230 area, somewhere in there. 
and then from there probably go lower. That's that's kind of my expectation at the moment. But that can change. That can definitely change. You know, we might still be in this overall uptrend and we could be going up to new highs. You know, either way that if I'm wrong, I'll be happy because I'm my bags are packed. I'm ready for this thing to go up. So go ahead. You know, that's OK with me. Um, but at the moment, I'm just expecting a, a relatively lower high that will send us probably to lower lows than this. I don't think we're going to go lower than this still. So that's that's my overall um, opinion and expectation. If you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, we'll we'll just keep track of this thing, monitor it day in day in and day out as I you know normally do. And yeah, take it easy. Bye bye.